everyone, welcome back. I've come on today to show you how to make this pillar box, but it's a pillar box with a window. I did put it on in my group, one of the groups in Facebook, and I had a lady request a video, which I was doing anyway, so I hope she sees that. Um, I've cut a window out of this pillar box, and the pillar box comes from a... Oops. Autumn and Winter catalogue and on page 15 it's the trim your stocking dies and you can make the stockings with a pillar box attached to the back but I'm just making a pillar box today you can see the pillar box there and the paper that I'm using is our new year of cheer which again is in the new catalogue and it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous papers and there's lots of other bits that coordinate stamp set and everything else so that's in the new catalogue. If you haven't got a demonstrator and you would like one, I'd happily send you one of these out for free. Um, if you just want to message me at craftingwithdanny at hotmail.com, I'll get one of those out in the post to you. Um, so back to the project. It's the Year of Cheer DSP and these gorgeous chocolates inside. I know they don't look like chocolates, but they are actually called dragées. Um And they're like wedding favour cho posh chocolates, if you like. This is the chocolates. I've bagged mine up and I've just used some of our Stampin' Up cello bags. They're um, two by eight inch bags and I've just cut them down and packaged them up to go inside and they just fit in there nicely. For the pillar box, <clears throat> you want to take the die, this is the die, and you want to cut two of them out. I've already cut mine and I've folded everything just to speed up things. But you will end up... Let me zoom back out. You will end up with two pieces that look like this. And on one of the pieces, you are going to take off this bit. So I'll quickly cut that off. I've already done this. I'm just doing this to show you. So now you've got two pieces like that and then on each piece, if you can see, there are score lines all the way down one side, all the way down another and you are simply going to cut them off on one. So you can use your scoreboard or your scissors. I've just used my scissors. And then you're going to turn it around and take off the other thin slither like that. So you'll end up with a piece that looks like this with the score line still on at the side and a piece that looks like this and then you want to just fold in the edges even here fold in this piece and then fold that and fold the sides and then you're good to go and you'll have something which looks like this <laughs> For the window, I've got some stitched frames. They're not from Stampin' Up, but I already had these in my stash before I joined, so I've just used these. And I've taken the two smallest and I've layered them together like that. I've just layered them up like that, which cuts out a frame. I'm using the silver foil frame. And then to get the square, the window. I've taken my big shot, I'll just fetch that in. And I'm doing the window on the one with all the tabs still on. So sorry if it rocks. I don't usually do much die cutting on here because it rocks my camera. So you want to just pop your pillar box on and you can decide wherever you want your window to be. I'm going to just pop mine on this edge. And you can put that anywhere you want, anyhow you like. You don't have to have it square. And then you're going to put your top sheet on and you're just going to wind that through. Go slow because there we go, it rocks. I thought I'd come on and do the die cutting because I have done most of it already to speed up the process. So we don't need that. And then you end up with a window, like that. So I'll move that out of the way. And then I've just used a piece of acetate and I've cut that, let's find my notes. Where's my with, um, two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And then I'm just gonna take some glue dots and pop them onto all four corners of the acetate. So 
So one in one corner and just repeat on all four corners. Oops, like that, and then turn over, and it should just sit really nicely inside there, like that. So that's your window, and then when I said we layer up the squares, you get this, and you're just going to pop that over the top. I'll zoom back in for you so you can see. So I'm going to use Tombow, um, I'm just going to pop a bit, if it wants to come out, again, there we go, there, it's going to sit down for this. I want to make sure it's on straight and then you're going to just place that over the top of your window like that. So now you've got that which is your window. Then I'm going to use red liner tape. I think this is 6mm and it just fits on the edge so you want to zoom out a bit. You want to just put that along the very edge of your box. I'll just take that off. I don't want to get my head in but I really need to see like that. And then along the other side as well. a bit shaky. There. And then just cut that off. And then with your bone folder, just to make sure it adheres down really well, just run your bone folder across. And then I just take it off before we carry on. You just want to put a bit of tape on this tab. Just two pieces is enough. And then another piece. Like that. So that's the tape. And then what I do is I just take it off on one side first. And bring in your bottom piece. Oops. Now what you want to do is line that up along the edge. You'll find your own way of doing it. I just find this is easier for me. Especially on camera because I don't really want to get my head in. <laughs> And then the other side will just meet up nicely there. So we've done that side. I'm going to take that piece off and that piece as well. The tab piece. And remove that. Remove that piece and remove that one. And then you want to just push this down. Let's make sure you're seeing it. So you want to push that down there because that's got to catch on to this side. And then what I'm going to do is just attach the top piece first. Oops, I'm just zoom out a bit. I'm coming a bit too close. And then you want to just push the back piece down. like that and then you can just close that piece up actually I'll have yeah like that 
and then you can open up your pillow box and we can pop our dragees in just like that and they just fit in there really prettily and then you want to just close up the other two tabs and there is your beautiful pillar box with your window and then for the ribbon I'm just going to use our 1 8 of an inch silver ribbon and hopefully where is them tie a bow we'll see no good at bows on camera I don't know if anybody else has that issue <laughs> especially not with this fiddly ribbon all right let me just do that again so I'm just trying to make a cross really like that we can straighten that out once we've done the bow I think on my last video I ended up pausing the video to actually do the bow I think it's just this small ribbon yep I think oh there we go I'm not going to mess about with that because I won't get it done again but I will straighten it for the pictures but that's what we're looking for like that and that is our two beautiful pillar boxes one silver and one copper so I really hope you enjoyed that um, the dragees if anybody wants to find them they're on eBay actually I got mine and I got a hundred I think it was for three pounds something and they're just great for little stocking fillers or wedding favours so Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.